all 75 of these fishermen are from Indonesia. Three months ago, seven fishing trawlers they were working on were intercepted and impounded by officials in Cape Town. They were fishing illegally in South African waters. The men say they spent nearly a year at sea, haven't been paid their salaries, and they were mistreated. Yeah, is it, is it really, really bad? It's like, it's like a prison in the middle of, of sea. You cannot see each other. The bad thing is we don't have good enough for rest. We just rest maybe three hours every day. We start working from four in the morning and we finish working at two in the morning. Most come from rural villages in Indonesia where there is no work. Some don't even have identity documents. Sometimes they earn a $100 a month and that's if they get paid. We think that the bigger picture is not um, illegal fishing. There must be a syndicate behind whatever is happening. These guys are human trafficked and enslaved. The owners of the seven fishing vessels got away. Government officials suspect they may have slipped out of the country using false documents. The Indonesian consulate in South Africa is trying to help. The real people behind the fishing operation, we don't know. It needs investigation. But what's clear is that the, the operators of, of this scheme have abandoned the ships and have abandoned the crew. Um, and that's really, I think the crew are innocent victims in this distressed situation. Several charities have been giving the fishermen food and water. They sleep on the boats they arrived in. There's no water or electricity on the boat. These men don't know how long they're going to be here and when they're going to see their families. Their biggest fear is being deported without getting their salaries. After spending months in the middle of the ocean, they say being sent back to Indonesia without money for their families will be humiliating. Haru Mutasa, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.